Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up two Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes. One of each version for the set. As you can see, Evolving Skies does feature many of the Eevee evolutions. So one box on the left features Leafeon, Umbreon, Jolteon, and Flareon. The box on the right features Sylveon, Espeon, Glaceon, and Vaporeon. So hoping to pull some of the Eevee evolutions, especially in alternate art form from the 16 booster packs in this video. So each Elite Trainer box I did purchase from Walmart for $39.98. I actually purchased these online. I was lucky enough to find them in stock through Walmart's website. So each Elite Trainer box, eight booster packs, 65 card sleeves, 45 energy cards, and several other items to play the TCG. Now I have opened up each of these Elite Trainer boxes individually on my channel. Definitely take a look at those videos if you'd like more detail on what comes in each of the boxes. And for the most part, I'm not a huge fan of Elite Trainer boxes. The only reason you re you'd really buy them, there's two. Either you want the card sleeves, which I'm really disappointed now that they are matte instead of glossy, or you want to keep the Elite Trainer box sealed and potentially flip it in the distant future for a good profit because these are very collectible overall, especially since the beginning, I think something like Plasma Storm. So I'll open up one first and then go on to the second one. Now I've had hit or miss pull rates from Evolving Skies it seems like. If I flip over the box you can actually see the items on the inside. One of these Elite Trainer boxes I went 0 for 8 out of. Now Evolving Skies is the largest Sword and Shield series set to date. With that being said, Fusion Strike, the set that will be released in November, will have more cards than Evolving Skies. There are tons of alternate R's to collect and they're actually a little bit easier to pull I would say in Evolving Skies as opposed to Battle Styles or Chilling Rain. So that player's guy that I just threw on the ground there, that is very good at looking at the checklist. But there is the items on the inside and actually a good way to do this is you just tip the box over, you lift it up this way and then you can pull the eight packs out right here. So I'm just going to go right into the eight booster packs. Like I said, you can see what's on the inside from the back of the box. And then I have opened up these Elite Trainer boxes individually on my channel in the past where I open up the entire box and show all of the items on the inside. As you can see, a couple of these packs are flipped around. Of course, the Pokemon Company International has rushed through a lot of the production for a product. The supply has increased and of course COVID has made lots of things short when it comes to supply. So out of eight packs would love to get one or two ultra rares or secret rares. Hopefully I don't go 0 for 8 like in one of the Elite Trainer boxes I opened up in the past. Litleo starts this one. Chincho. Dino, Pumpkaboo, Halloween is coming up, Carvana, Metal Type Energy, Tentacruel, Palpitoad, Shopping Center, Reverse Stall of a Rabombi, this would be an uncommon, a diamond at the bottom left, final card would be an Umbreon V, so one of 18 different Pokemon V available in this set. This set, of course, based around both Rayquaza VMAX and Duraludon VMAX. Would love to pull any type of alternate art. And here is a look at the price guide on TCGplayer.com. The Rayquaza VMAX, the alternate art, still worth right around $250. The Umbreon VMAX, second most valuable card in the set. And then there's a bit of a drop after that. I've actually had, like I said, decent luck pulling alternate arts from the set. Pull the Neuvern V alternate full art somewhat recently. So there's a look at some of the more valuable cards in the set. So let's get back to opening some packs. So next pack here, Rayquaza VMAX on it. Rayquaza VMAX 
so powerful and it works so well with Flaffy from this set. Flaffy allowing you to accelerate a lightning energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Love Disc starts this one, second pack. C Dot, Slackoff, Carvana, Flubabay, Lightning Type Energy, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Rapid Strike, and Single Strike Pokemon. Still in this set, Fletchender, Lantern, Reverse Hollow of a Victini, which is a rare, I believe it's normally a rare hollow. And the final card would be a Kyurem, a rare hollow. So two rares is always nice. Setting both of those cards aside. Two for two so far. Of course, rare hollow cards really not worth very much. Here is the Duraludon VMAX. I've actually pulled that as an alternate art a couple of times from my opening. I'm sure this is a green colored code. Yes, it is. I had two white colored codes the first few packs. Flaffy Reverse Solo is what I'm hoping for here. Zorua starts this pack. Psyduck. Sai ay ay. Rufflet. Drowsy. Flubabay. Fighting type energy. Swoobat. Lombre. Lucky Ice Pop. Reverse Solo of a Copycat, which is available as a full art. I've actually pulled it in an Evolving Skies opening in the past. And then Altaria as the rare. Copycat, of course, an uncommon. Rarity wise. Sylveon VMAX here. I pulled, I believe, the Sylveon VMAX alternate art. And then Perla, not on camera, but she opened up the Sylveon V alternate art. I have that one in my bedroom, sort of as a memento. Hopefully, some good luck during her pregnancy here for our little daughter. That will be more on October 17th. I'm not exactly sure when this video will be up on YouTube, but right now it is before October 17th. She has not been born yet. Bagon starts this one. Wubat. Temple. Psyduck. Eevee. I like Rayquaza in the sky there. Fighting type energy. Toy Catcher. Hippowdon. Golduck. Reverse Solo of a Sharpedo. That would be an uncommon. Nope, it is a rare. Start at the bottom left-hand corner. And then another rare holo in a Dialga. Almost reminds me of something like a shiny legendary from... What set would that be? Call of Legends. An SL card. Shiny legendary. Quasi VMAX. I am so excited for Celebrations. Like I said, as recording this video, Celebrations has not been released yet. I know I've been able to pre-order a few things. Hoping to find more things in stores. I do plan on spending a few days just traveling around the state trying to find some Celebrations products. Lotad starts this one. Emolga. Woobat. Gossiflure. Feebas. Fire type energy. Golduck. Boost Shake. Rabombi. Reverse Hollow of a Petalil, a common. And then Seismitoad as the rare. And of course, Celebrations, I'm hoping, will be printed a lot because I really don't care about how much the card sells for. I'm not really trying to flip anything. The set is mainly geared towards reprints and nostalgia. And I have collected since 1999 and have all of the original cards in my collection like Prime cards and Gold Star cards and of course the Charizard base set trio in Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. So it's nice to have that 25th anniversary reprint. Cryogonal starts this one. Petalil, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Psychic Type Energy, Palpitoad, Crustle, Moon and Sun Badge, lots of trainer cards that refer to the Eevee Evolutions. And for us, another rare reverse solo, not bad. Final card would be a Sylveon V. As you'll note, this is a psychic type Sylveon V. Fairy type is no longer in the TCG. It may make a return. I know a type like Dragon has been in and out of the TCG, but Dragon is not a basic energy type in the TCG. Doing very well quantity wise, not so much quality wise. We haven't pulled anything too rare. The Pokemon V cards that I pulled out, a few dollars at the very most. Slackoff starts this one. Petalil. 
Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet, Metal Type Energy, Herdier, Spirit Mask, Palpitoad, Reverse Hall of a Dream Ball, an uncommon, and then Flapple as the rare. There are tons of V Full Art cards in this set, 11 different that are alternate arts. Hoping for some last pack magic here in Elite Trainer Box number one. And my favorite EV evolution would be Jolteon and then Umbreon. So I saved the Elite Trainer Box I prefer for last. Rock and Roller starts this one. Wobbuffet, Hopip, Swell Blue, Zoroa, Water Type Energy, Lantern, Treasure Energy, Digging Gloves, Reverse Soul of a Hypno. Is that another rare? Nope, that's an uncommon. Final card, a Talon Flame. So I can summarize the pulls for this Elite Trainer box and then compare them to hopefully the several good pulls that I get from the second Elite Trainer box. So from eight total packs, I actually pulled out four white colored code cards, which was very nice. I was able to pull out three rare reverse solo in Ampharos, Sharpedo, and Victini, a couple of rare hollow in Dialga, and Kyurem, and then two Pokemon V in Sylveon, and Umbreon. Either of those I would love to have pulled as the alternate arts. So now I'll move on to the second Elite Trainer box. Anytime that I get four out of eight white colored code cards from Elite Trainer box, it is a win in my book. So here is the second Elite Trainer box again, $39.98 from Walmart. And I bought this from their website. And as you can see, the plastic sort of was ripped open during shipping. But that is the Risky Tape take buying any sealed product online and even in retail stores a lot of times the packs will be moved around or the box will be in bad shape so do the same trick only difference here for the most part is the card sleeves and dividers have these four EV evolutions on them instead of the other four so I'll set that down here for now and here would be the eight packs Looks like all the packs are in the same order this time. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't go 0 for 8. I think this is the Elite Trainer box I went 0 for 8 from before. All it takes is one pack. Now I know some of the build and battle boxes from Evolving Skies all had white colored code cards and that really didn't matter what was in the rare spot. First pack of the second eight starts with C Dot, Lillipup, Bagon, Litleo, Teddy Ursa, Darkness Type Energy, Crustle, Rescue Carrier, Crystal Cave, not a bad stadium card, Ursaring would be the reverse hollow, that is an uncommon, and then Zygarde, another rare hollow as the rare. And that's a little bit disappointing just because those cards really aren't worth much. And like I pulled out a Neuvern alternate art, that card is not worth that much, relatively speaking. But it is a tougher card to pull, so it was a satisfying feeling. And that card is just beautiful overall. Second pack here. At least I won't be shut out, though. It does seem like Evolving Skies is hit or miss when it comes to pull race you either get very good cards or terrible cards i wish there were stated pull rates for elite trainer boxes booster boxes etc ev starts this one Timple, cutie fly applin sableye grass type energy scroll of the fang dragon floet boldor reverse all of a pyroar that would be another uncommon. And then Stoutland as the rare. I do like the pre-release promos for the set. All three of the legendary birds from Generation 1 in Galarian form. Ultra, Zapdos, and Articuno. And then the Flaffy that I keep talking about. It's hard to believe Flaffy being an uncommon. I seem to pull less than some of the rare non hollows in the set. 
Let's see what happens in this pack. It starts with Hoppip, angry looking Hoppip, Hitmonchan, or should I say more of a possessed looking Hoppip, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, Lightning type energy, Shopping Center, Lantern, Ursaring, Reverse Hall of a Crustle, an Uncommon, and then Wishy Washy as the rare. So, not much so far, a rare holo, and that is why I prefer opening sets like Shining Fates or Hidden Fates. Set like Vivid Voltage, something that you can get something good in the reverse holo spot, even if you get a green colored code card pack like this if you get a code card like this you might as well just throw away the pack because there is no value in it there's a few competitive cards in this set otherwise it really is a lot of junk Nicket starts this one Psyduck Swablu Seedot Woobat Fighting Type Energy Hippowdon Golduck Herdier Reverse Soul of a Cutie Fly Common and then Lilligant as the rare. And I know I get asked a lot, what do I do with all of my extra cards? And I really should just sell some of my bulk, but I really have kept a majority of my cards over the years. There's times that I go through and sell some of my more valuable cards. And to be truthful with everyone, I actually sold a lot of my more valuable cards, none of my Charizard cards, but some of my more valuable Gold Star cards and, and things like that this past year when the Pokemon card prices were just skyrocketing. It actually helped me. I'm having new windows and siding on my house this coming year, and that paid for all of that. And it helps just our house value. And with the baby on the way, I don't want to spend a lot of time repainting the house every few years. Chincho starts this one. Petalil, Feebas, Teddy Ursa, Dino, Fire Type Energy, Boldor, Skiploom, Fletchender, Reverse Soul of an Ampharos. There we go, a rare. Final card would be a Garbodor V. So another Pokemon V. Like I said, one of 18 different Pokemon V available in this set. So I won't be shut out. That makes two white colored code card so far and I still have three packs left to open up surprisingly no alternate arts they're almost about two per booster box or one in 18 packs which I'm opening 16 packs here it's hoping for one but so far no dice Psyduck starts this one Rufflet Drowsy Roggenrola, Flubabay, Psychic Type Energy, Crustle, Moon and Sun Badge, Toy Catcher, Reverse Hall of a Roggenrola Common, Final Card, and Appleton. I do like with the Dragon Type Pokemon that has a little symbol down there. Second to last pack now would love to pull the Rayquaza VMAX. I've pulled it as a Rainbow Rare before. I actually really like the alternate art Rayquaza V as well. I do my best not to look at that code card. I don't want to actually know what's in that final spot. I just assume that it's going to be a green colored code. Just so that I don't get my hopes up. Emolga starts this one. Slackoff. Gossifleur. Love Disc. Fletchling. Metal type energy. Pyroar. Dream Ball. Stormy Mountains, which is one of the competitive cards in this set. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic lightning Pokemon or basic dragon Pokemon and put it onto their bench. Reverse Hall of a Toy Catcher. Rare. A Seismatose. So hoping for some last pack magic. Otherwise, a very average Elite Trainer box overall, but better than what I've opened up in the past. Let's see what happens in this final one. Close my eyes. I don't want to see what that code card is. Four and then two. I'll set this card right down. I like to actually feel the card. See if I can tell if it's a full art or a rare hollow or what it is. Wobbuffet starts this one. Love Disc. Dwebble. Hippopotas. Zorua. Water type energy. Treasure energy. 
Digging Gloves, Palpitoad, Reverse Holloway Fleshling, a common. Let's see if I can figure out what this one is. I do not know if it's a white colored code card or a green one. It is definitely not a full art. I would say it's just a green colored code card. Yep, indeed it is. It is a rare non-hollow in my Lodic. So only three cards to summarize from the second elite trainer box. Still, like I said, I didn't get shut out. And that is very good. So a rare reverse hollow in Ampharos. Ampharos I'm a big fan of from Pokemon Crystal when I leveled up to 100. Zygarde, a rare hollow. And then Garbodor V the best card from the second elite trainer box so that will conclude this video thank you everyone for watching make sure before you go to subscribe to the channel leave a like and turn on all notifications and then if you would like to help support my channel even more you can become a patron of mine on patreon you can find that in the description of this video i have a book out there pokemon cards the unofficial ultimate collector's guide and you can always donate via the live chat or directly through paypal to myself but thank you everyone for watching happy pokemon card collecting i hope you guys can find celebrations out there at retail prices and it is just going to be a very fun set to open up so that will conclude this video thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos thank you